um, let's start at the top, right? This like, if you were doing this by yourself, I don't, I typically don't recommend people start with their goals because it can, it can go sideways, but we got time together. So we're going to start with from the top, right? So you mentioned, um, so let's pretend if we were, if we can, that it's the, hold on, no, I'm going to, I'm going to say this another way. It's, it's September. We're going to make this real. So Arden, you get no more than five things um, that, you know, at the end of the year, we're celebrating you having done or you're having done. Okay. No more than five things. Okay. What are those five things? Um, by the end of December? By, by December 31st, we're meeting together, high fives, um, you know, that type of whatnot. What five things and only those five things? Okay. First of all, I would say I would have my apartment renovated. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing a massive, just to give you a picture, I'm doing a massive, I mean, I'm under, renovating six apartments simultaneously and mine is last. And it all starts Monday. Fun times. Yeah, so my apartment number eight is um, at the end of the list. And if it could be done by the end of the year, it'd be a freaking miracle, Frank. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, we can, we can make some intentions for freaking miracles, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, so what would be a second thing? A second thing would be um, I own a car. I'd buy a car. That'd be another miracle. Whoa. Okay. So buy a car. And, you know, car is defined as something with four wheels that runs. <laughs> you, you don't want a motorcycle with a sidecar? Because those could be <laughs> well, pretty I mean, cool. I, could be a truck and, or it could be a, a yeah. CRV. It could be, you know, something so, that vehicle. vehicle. Yeah, vehicle. Well, Internal combustion automobile. Right. Although, you know, someone handed you a Tesla, you'd be all right with that too. Probably. But, um, okay, so you got three more slots left. What do you got? Um, gosh, I would like to complete my goal of six, um, being in six art shows, meaning I actually am showing art in six shows during the year and I've made uh, three. So to complete six would be, uh, again, <laughs> yeah. show art in six venues. Yeah, that would be a, right. I'm halfway there. All right. So great. I'm just going to put three out. Okay, what else? Okay, um, so three more shows. Uh, let's say- You don't have to use, you don't have to use all of them, but I'm just saying you have no more than five because you mentioned Nancy Girl. Tell me about Nancy yeah, Girl. Yeah, okay, so Nancy Girl, thank you for asking, is my heartfelt, soulful uh, life project that, you know, if I don't do this before I die type of thing, I'll feel really bad about what I did or didn't mm -hmm. do. You know, like seriously important. So that is a, a story about my sister, Nancy, who passed away in 08, who was a brilliant artist, schizophrenic, and um, nobody knows anything about her. And I want to write a story about myself as an artist, as her sister, and our, how we, you know, how we move through life as okay. artists and sisters under duress. So, to speak. Right, so where are you on the manuscript? I have, um, I've written, uh, not very far, but I have various things. I've written pieces here and there. I've written haikus and uh, entry sentences and some, you know, little chapters. I, I don't know. I've actually written different things. She died in 08, so I started in 09. And I can't really tell you how many pages, but I've been kind of fiddling around with it since then, 09. So one thing that's popping up to me is it seems like you haven't decided the format of the, of the work yet. Well, I, it's a toward of memoir uh, and a, a biography of her and a little autobiography of me. And it also includes um, images of her artwork. Okay. So like a hybrid memoir. Kind of a hybrid memoir. Good way. Yeah. Okay. So, um, now, here's where I, I let some miracles ride at the beginning. Like when it comes to this particular project, is it realistic that it could be done by the end of the year? No. Okay. So I, what chunk of it? Make headway you, on yeah, it. So, no, but we can't say headway. We have to be specific. So oh. what would headway look like? Would it be a chapter? Uh, it would be, let's see, what would headline? Uh, it would be, well, for one thing, it would be or gathering all the stuff I have written 
into some place, you know, because they're in all kinds of backup hard drives and in, <laughs> they're in different places. They're in hard copy on external hard drive backups and and in drawers and photo albums. And it's kind of like, you know, probably gathering a lot of the stuff would be pretty important. So would you feel happy if to the end of the year, if you've compiled all of your, um, all of the different things um, into one place so that you can work on the project? I would be happy, but I would feel like that hadn't really done much for in terms of really writing something. Okay. So that might be a sub part of the goal, which would be to complete one chapter or to complete one section or something like that. You know, I think uh, one section, and I think the section would be something about her art, her journals and her, um, it's really a good question. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to, maybe I need to make a goal of finding out what one section is. All right. So yeah. Um, so there's obviously some table of content for work, right? There's some book structuring work that needs to happen. Um, what I can tell you is being an author, it takes longer to do some of the compilation and structuring of the book um, than you might think. Um, and so, you know, even if it's, you know, compiling, um, you know, compiling material and developing a table of contents or developing, you know, something like that, it's going to take a bit of work. You might not feel nearly as satisfied as writing one section. Um, but I'd rather us to set a goal that we can actually get to than um, one that, that leaves you scattered, right? right? So your options are compile um, materials and develop a table of contents or write one section of the book because that will entail com compilation and compiling this and compile or that will con entail compilation and um, developing a structure. So if I said write one section, then it would be also including compiling and taking mm -hmm. contents and structure. Well, I think that's uh, very ambitious and probably overly ambitious given all the construction work that's starting to happen. But I, I am where I'm sitting, by the way, right now is in an office that I built for myself. It's a really great office down in the ground floor. And I could actually hide out in here while all the other stuff is going on through the rest of the building. All right, so would you rather have a more ambitious complete a section or a less ambition complete a chapter of a section? I would say uh, less ambitious. All right. You don't have a full chapter completed, right? I do not. One chapter of Nancy Girl. Um, not grill, girl. Yeah, and it's one word. Didn't, is it all one word? Yeah, no. well, that cu currently that's the what how I do it. One word, Nancy with the capital G girl. Okay, so no space in between there. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, hey, by the way, Charlie, I, I'm smiling. Just, <laughs> just you're even saying that and writing it on the board makes me smile. It's like, oh my God, <laughs> this is like very uplifting. I want you to know. Thank you so thanks. much. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you have one more, you have no more than one more sort of thing. Remember, okay. you don't have to use it. You can say, nope, I'm not doing it. I'm just doing these four things. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, I would like to take a trip to somewhere. It could be a weekend. It could be, uh, you know, a trip to Big Sur, like, a, you know, two days. I haven't been traveling in you know, forever because I just haven't been able to get out of Dodge. So taking a trip somewhere between now and the end of the year would, uh, one, you know, more, one more miracle. Is it a weekend trip? Is it a week-long trip? Is it a... Well, uh, let's say uh, a week is overly ambitious. <laughs> I would say maybe uh, three, to five, three to five days. If I could do that, that'd be awesome, dude. <laughs> All right, so go on a four-day trip. Yeah, okay, four days. That's good. <laughs> okay. So what we've done in this process is basically come up with your goals. Right. We can see that hey, had you started at the beginning of the year, it probably would have still been those goals. Right. Probably. Yeah. Right. So the idea here is we go ahead and lock those down. We don't add anything else to the plate until we get these done. Remember the sort of, you know, you, you can't do something else until you get these done. Oh, right. Right. Can't do anything else until you get these done. Okay. <laughs> so we lock them down. Okay. Now so that's at the big, part. that's like the big Russian doll. Okay, so renovate apartment at the top. It has to be said apartment eight 
because all the other ones are getting done. It's out of my, you know, basically it's out of my control. Yeah. Apartment eight, my home is, uh, like I said, it's the last of the Monhegans. And so I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm uh, going to Apartment eight. Eight. That's it. There. Thank you. Okay. And so um, I'm going to open my screen and we're just going to drop these in there. So we did a little bit of brainstorming. Remember, I said we want to brainstorm on a separate screen or in a separate space. So we did a little bit of brainstorming. Um, can you see my screen, Arden? Uh, the one that says annual momentum planner? Exactly. Yeah, I do. All right. So what we would start doing is whether you're writing or you're typing, we would say renovate apartment eight. Okay. Um, and then we would say um, buy a vehicle. Um, and then we would say show art in six venues. Um, we would say complete one chapter of Nancy Girl. And then lastly, we would say go on a four day trip. Okay. Remember, those are sort of frozen in that way. Okay. All right. Um, so what we would do is um, we can say, you know, we're going to do some things in, in quarter three, but we're already in quarter four. Now, if you were doing this at the beginning of the year, we would go down and start saying, okay, what quarter am I going to do what based upon what? And so what some people find to be really useful, Arden, is to be consistent so that if they're using Renovate Apartment 8 here in the first line, that they try to pick a quarterly project in the first line that that goes to that. So you can kind of see how it would go throughout the year. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. It's sort of like your daily habit tracker. You can it out like that. Yeah. By the way, that's a great tool. I appreciate that. Yeah. That, it's one of my favorites actually. Um, of course, they're all some of my favorites. How, how do you, anyways. Um, and so what we would do here is renovate apartment eight. Um, you begin construction, you said Monday. Yeah. So, um, I think it's pretty much at this point would be manage construction. Um, it's uh, actually, I don't know if I'm, I mean, it's all in the hands of the contractor and I don't actually handle any of it. It's all laid out and I'll be doing small details. So my, what, what are the my apartment, my, my own apartment is a huge project, meaning I have to actually vacate my project, my apartment, I have to move out and, that is my job. Okay, so that's what it would be. Vacate your apartment and find somewhere else to stay. Yeah, exactly. Um, vacate, and, vacate and move from your, vacate your apartment and move. And move. So we could say, you know, that's a quarterly project. By the time you think about it, moving out, finding a place to move, like all those types of things. Mm -hmm. That's your big thing. And we put it down there because, um, Arden, you probably heard me say this. Um, anything that takes time, energy, and attention counts as a project which means moving apartments, that's a huge, that's, you know, huge project. So we can, we put it down even if you're like, I can get it done in a month. Well, guess what? You're going to be disrupted for a quarter, you know? Um, and we might as well put it down there so we know about it. Okay. Yeah. And so buying a vehicle, given that it's a quarter of the year, what we might have done if this were the beginning of the year, it might've said like prepare, you know, a, um, you know, figure out how much you can spend or, you know, do some sort of financial review in quarter one. So you can figure out what that looks like. You might do some shopping in quarter two. You might do some deciding in quarter three, right? Um, it might not take that long for you though. You might be like, ah, Charlie, that's really only a month long thing. Um, so, you know, how long do you think it would take you that if you, if you focused efforts um, to go out and get a vehicle? Uh, I think, um, I have to find out how much money I have left out of this uh, loan that I signed yesterday. I saw it signed a $2,014,000 loan yesterday <laughs> and I get uh, $29,000 out of it. And out of that, I pay bills and I, out of whatever's left is probably what I'm going to look at. Probably maybe $4,000 for a car, maybe. Yeah. So you got to develop a, a budget. Kind of like a beater and it has to do, and, and I don't know how long it's going to take me to, but, I'll know more soon, very soon. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, develop a budget, you yeah. know, just, you know, we basically, you see what I'm going to do every time, develop a budget, figure out what you need, figure out what's available and go shop and test drive cars, right? Decide on that car, sign the deal, 
um, get the tags, like all those different types of things. So there's at least, you know, seven different parts of those projects. And so yeah. it's going to take different amounts of time. Right. Um, but with everything else you got going, so here, here's the thing, and I'm, it's always easy to explain it in context, right, Arden? I mean, thanks for being a, 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 um, a guinea pig for this. Um, the challenge is if you just had buying a vehicle, you can probably get that done pretty quick, right? But it, buying a vehicle is done in the context of everything else that you're doing, right? And that's where it takes a long time. It's that context of everything else. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to jump to quarter four um, because we don't need to see the rest of the year because I'm trying to make it more realistic based upon what we're doing. So mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Four. Um, and it's going to open here in just a second. Okay, here we go. And so it's actually those same four goals over again. Um, and because, can I cut and copy? Let me go back and see if I can. <laughs> don't know that I can. So some things about Adobe Acrobat that we don't like, but anyways, I think it's just gonna be faster if I type do, do, do. Um, And then lastly, go on a four day trip. Okay. And so we're just gonna pretend we're in August or we're in October, right? Um, so we've sort of listed out some of the buy a vehicle stuff, right? So we know, um, are you gonna actually start shopping for the vehicle in? Hi, um, Charlie, could I just uh, tell you that I can't see my screen has most of the rest of the uh, page cut off. I'm not, I don't know how to make, oh, there. <laughs> yeah, it's actually my screen that's doing it. <laughs> okay, yeah. thanks, okay. Yeah, so when we get down there, I'll, we'll, we'll scroll through. Um, so again, it's the, it's the art of chunking down. So, you know, we have those, those annual goals we would put over, you know, what I started to do on the annual moment of planner was go through there, but I'm just going to jump down here to the monthly objective so we can see how to chunk that. So let's talk about buy a vehicle. What are you going to do in October to move that project forward? I think I would talk to all my uh, guy friends who have trucks, <laughs> make calls, see if anybody has anything for sale that they know people I, I basically network it's probably a good way of putting it network yeah. with uh, um, to see if they're selling yeah and i also right. do a lot of research i read about vehicles all the time on the on the web trying to figure this out okay so i'm just going to say research um, vehicles on website on, on, you know, research vehicles. That's just what we're going to say. And I can't, and I cannot see that on my screen. I somehow I can't seem to get my screen to. Hmm, you can't. Oh, here. I, I'm, oh, maybe that's it. Okay. Better. Okay. Yeah. Um, so that's what you're going to do there. So what would you do in November? I would purchase something. Probably find it. I'd probably be able to do it. Yeah. Um, so you'd buy a vehicle then, that would cross that out. That would give you an additional block over here in December. And you, you, know, you don't necessarily have to use that for anything, but we're done with that, right? So you can okay. see how that would work, right? Okay. Um, what would you do for showing art in six venues? You got three more venues to show. Yeah, uh, it's um, submitting, uh, submitting images online. It's all about online submissions. Or submit, um, submit um, images, you said? Yeah, usually it's three per um, show. And it's always in like- And you already know which venues that you're showing that you would need to do this to? No, I don't. I have to research the venues and I also have to do some technical development. I have to install my CS, uh, Adobe Creative Suite 6 back into this computer I'm on right now. So it's actually, and I need to build some, um, build some images out. 
Yeah. That I already have, I have to fix up. Yeah. So that's probably one of those things where managing it via the individual project planner would be the way to go. Okay. And then we would just eat these two and say something like submit images to venues, knowing that that means we have to research the venues. Okay. Um, and so that's why we want to do some of that chunking somewhere else. Um, so that when we, when we get here, we know, um, that's this and, you know, the same thing with the reach out to network to see if they're selling and research vehicles, like, mm -hmm. um, that's probably like, you know, figuring out what vehicle is available or, you know, research vehicles and availability is probably what I would put. Yeah. I would say, uh, line three covers everything like networking and all that. Yeah. Um, and then if you had a, a, another place where you're keeping up with the project, like, you know, basically this month, you're not buying yet. You're just, you're shopping and researching. Okay. You're submitting images to venues. That's for um, this one here. I'm just going to um, do this real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, so submit one chapter or complete one chapter of Nancy girl. This is the one that I really wanted to make sure that we dove into. Yeah. Because this one get away from you. Um, how long do you think it would take you to start the compilation? Uh, to, how long would it start? Well, you know, I started it yesterday and the day before. And, you know, I've been gathering uh, her journals and letters and images for a really long time. Yep. So uh, how long? Now, I'll tell you one huge issue. I have a whole apartment. I mean, literally, I have one of these construction apartments that, it's going to be renovated, um, filled with her artwork, paintings and oil pastels. And I, I don't know where to put all that stuff. So part of the issue of doing this book is compiling her artwork, her physical artwork and documenting it. It's a, a big piece of this book. Yeah. Um, have you heard of Andrew Mellon? No. So Andrew Mellon has a lot of work on how to, um, how to process um, heirlooms and sentimental attachments and, and things like that from, from other people. They normally in the context of parents who, who leave stuff for us. Um, but I think there may be some good stuff there that I think might be helpful for you to think about how, how to do some of this. Cause it's not just about the stuff. It's about your relationship with her and so on. Mm -hmm. right. Is, does he have a website about that? He does have a website. So it's Peter Mellon, P E T E R M E L L E N. Um, and I believe he has some free articles and stuff on that. He also has a course. Okay, great. Got um, it. So you can kind of see what I've done here on the screen with Nancy Girl, right? So one month to compile all the materials. That's long enough. Yeah, probably. You, I mean, you know. Not so long that it becomes forever. Right. Right. Um, then you prepare a table of contents. Again, it takes longer for you to think about what you've got and you've got all those materials and what, what, what's the format and where, what art goes where and all that stuff. Right. And so that might be in November, 2018 and then December 28th and then December is when you can actually sit down and complete a draft. Okay. I see better what you're talking about. Okay. Okay. And then we can go through, I'm, I'm conscious of the time for people. So I just wanted to go through some of these. Um, so, you know, go on a four day trip, you know, next month you would be researching, like you'd be figuring out what your budget is and researching is basically the same thing as the car. Okay. Um, so, you know, research, you know, research availability and probably taking a trip here and so on. Um, and then we would do something very similar you know, when we jumped into October, I'm just going to pull this one here, researches and availability. You know, when we jumped into October, wait for it. Um, you know, we would jump down and the project would be to, you know, research vehicles and availability. That's what we were talking about there. So just repeat all those lines, one through five from uh, the other ones. Yeah, because you're not changing them. That's, you've yeah. already done that work. Okay. You've already done that work, and I jumped into a weekly. Um, so I should have jumped into the monthly, actually. Um, and so we would repeat everything there. We would write your monthly ones down, and you'd say, what week are you doing? Like, you're reaching out to friends. Um, friends about their, to see if they're selling trucks. Um you know, and it might be, you know, researching, um, Kelly blue book, Kelly blue KBB book yeah. find, um, um, you know, um, best models for 
X and X just be like whatever you're whatever you're trying to do, and then it might be you know um, seeing um, or um, um, see if they have the models you're looking for, right? I'm writing this out long form, but look yeah, at, right? I get it. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know if the car lots have it, then you go test drive some cars. Um, dress drive some of um, some of the vehicles and then you know you test drive and then you'd roll into the next month the next um, the next month and it would be like you have a smaller set of, of cars and vehicles and then you would go and start the negotiation and bidding and things like that right for those cars and so you can see that's just how you would do that and then when we jumped into the weekly what about that scheduled events part that we that's down here I mean is that like things like say you buy tickets to the Raiders game or the theater yeah. and you put in the scheduled events there? Like yeah, that's what, that's what you put in there. Okay, um, okay. You put in anything that's going to cause anything that's going to take enough time, energy and attention at this scale mm -hmm. uh, that you see you need to plan for it. So for instance, if you were taking your, um, your four day vacation this month, you definitely put that on there. Right. Well, what about, you know, other people's events like baby showers or, you know, birthdays, things like that. that yeah, I, w I mean, if if it's going to be big enough that you need to make sure you do it, then I would say yes. Time, right? energy and attention. Yeah, time, energy and attention. If it's one of those things where like, you know, um, you know, you've got a neighbor that has a birthday, but you're not really going to do anything about that, then don't put it on there because it doesn't require time, energy and attention. Okay. Right? But, you know, if there's a network, if, if there's a major networking event that month that you know you want to go to, then you put it on there. Because when we start thinking about like, okay, like when I look at it this way, what I, what I tend to encourage people to do is look at the quarter four objectives and we start by going down. What are your quarter four objectives? What are your monthly objectives? What are your scheduled events? Okay. And then from there, you jump over and start doing, filling out your weeks because these three give you the real constraints of your month, right? These give you the shape of your month really well. Can you see that, Arden? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm taking it in. It's uh, Thank you. Yeah. And so <laughs> you do that and then you do these. Um, in emergent projects, there's the things that pop up that you didn't expect, right? Um, but, you know, if you put down, you know, you know, um, let, let's say you're going on vacay. So let's say this is, you know, uh, the 27th, through the 30th right um and we just say this is all day and then we just say four day vacation where is that on this screen it's probably further down that you can see oh, it's down there scheduled, scheduled events. events okay all right so we know just by looking at that that something some one of your slots during this week is going to go to preparing to go for that right right um, and we know that one slot the following week is going to be spent like recovering from that. And so, you know, I would say prepare um, for vacation or prepare for um, for four day vacation. And this is where, you know, I'm just going to write it in so that people can see it. This is where um, we can say, you know, reference um, the IPP for four day vacation. Okay. And then you keep, you know, all of your tasks related to that there or, you know, in another task management system. But, you know, you don't need to say everything you're going to do. You just have prepared some room that week to be able to do it. And then when we would jump into that week, it would carry over. You start with sort of your weekly projects. Let me jump into it. Um, that would be the fourth week. So we know that one of this week's projects would be prepare for four-day um four day um, um, trip. And then that's where you would come through same basic thing. You work through your monthly objectives, you, you put all this over here and then you're like, okay, schedule event is I leave, let's say you, le you left that Friday. I don't know if it's actually this week. Yeah, it would be this week. So, you know, here we would say leave for trip. And this is what I was saying earlier, like you can either, if you're printing this out, you can either just line those out. Sometimes I encourage people to do this. So they just know they're not gonna get anything because they're leaving for that trip that day. And then what about this priority thing? How do you, what, what is that? Like one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, D, E, or how do you? 
whichever makes the most sense for you. And I know that's not super helpful, um, but I'm, some people will say like, this is my first priority and they'll say other things are my fourth priority. Um, so that's where that would come in there. Where, what do you say? Um, I tend to prefer one through four or one through, I, I prefer numbers over letters sometimes. And so that's, that's what I would do. I don't use, when I do this, I don't actually use this. I, um, it, it, I don't need to, but I see how other people need to. So it's there. Okay. Um, and so you would just sort of walk through, you can see that I've just picked up this one goal and I've sort mm -hmm. of picked and, and seen how you do it. But in general, what you want to do is you want to start here on these left, these left columns, um, include the deadlines here because that's when they become really important. And then you start filling this out based upon the structure that you've given yourself over here. Okay. You know, I like the, the, what you said earlier, earlier, uh, when you get used to the constraints, they become your best friends. <laughs> they really do. I like that a lot because, and I also like the idea that you don't get to put anything else on the list until you finish those. Yeah. Cause I'm, I'm working on your, I, you know, I bought the little class, the video mm -hmm. class on start finishing action guide. Mm -hmm. That's very, very helpful. And I'm, I am going to like the constraints in due time. I don't like them yet, but I will. <laughs> yeah, in due time, in due time. Um, and so that's really what we're looking at there. Um, and um, so I hope, you know, I, I, we could spend, uh, you know, obviously a whole hour filling this out. And what I will say for everyone that's still with us, thank you, first off. Second is yes, your first run throughs will always take longer because you're starting with a blank slate. Right, you're starting with a blank slate. But once you start filling in some of these things, you can probably see that, or, or you did see that after we knew what our quarterly, or after we knew what our annual goals were, it actually became a lot easier to fill these out. Did you see that Arden? Yeah. Like we don't have to do that work over again. We've already done it. And had we filled in the, the quarterly objectives, like anytime we go into a new month, right? We don't have to start all over again. It's just like writing down what we've already done. And so something, it's both, it's both a bug and a feature, to be honest, about the having to write it over again. When we have to rewrite goals, we actually encode them in better ways. Now, that's the feature part of it. Encode meaning we, we remember them better and we prioritize better. The bug part is, is that there's not a really easy way for us in Adobe to transfer over those objectives. And so you have to write them at the same time. So it turns out you have to, but it's also better off that you did. Um, but, you know, we already know what the quarter four objectives are when we roll into November. We've already on the quarterly planner, right? We've already gone through and figured out some of the things that we're going to do. So we don't need to do that work again. Um, we just need to look at November and say, yep, I'm basically on course. I'm just going to fill it in and go from there or nope, I'm way off. I need to do something different. And then we, we, we adjust from there. So that's how it works. Um, you know, kind of going through each project. And I know I've jumped around on different projects. Obviously we can go down to the day if we wanted to, like, what are you doing this day? That's, that's overkill for our context there, but you can see it's the same process over and over and over again. And once you learn the process, it can be super powerful.